Now then, imagine strolling along the road in your old hometown and you happen to glance across the street and then you glance right back and you stare because there are the words video library emblazoned across the front of a shop in 2020. And not only that, but a video rental library you used to use in the 80s. I can't believe that my old Lowestoft video rental shop is still open in 2020 after having established itself in 1983. That is astonishing. Now, obviously, I'm going to go in and take a look, and I am taking you with me. Welcome to another edition of Jason Arnop's terrifying house of obsession. I am quite literally Jason Arnop, the author of The Last Days of Jack Sparks, Ghoster, and Doctor Who fiction and non-fiction alike. Now that that self-promotional flim flam's done, let's go back to the shop, which is in Lowestoft in Suffolk, where I grew up. This is very early 2020, the first couple of days of January, as you'll see when we go inside. Now, what else to say about this place? It's not, sadly, a VHS hire shop. I mean, that really would be nuts, wouldn't it? But this is a DVD hire store. The, this place is renting out physical media in 2020. At the end of this video, I'll tell you the current status of the shop in July 2020. But for now, let's enjoy this video post box where you put the videos, or rather DVDs, sorry, once you've finished renting them. In we go, up the stairs. Look at all those posters. We'll take a closer look at those a bit later. Look at these shelves. Yeah, and this is not the half of it. Trust me, lots more to see. You can rent all of these out. And it's not just old stuff, it's not just 80s films. There's plenty of uh, recent and new releases as well. And there are various ways, as you can see on that sign, by which you can hire this, this stuff out. Look at it all. This was before I got a gimbal, by the way, thanks to my very helpful Patreon patrons. So forgive the camera work if you will, but hopefully the magic still comes across. Yes, there's more, there's more. And there's even more. As you can see there, the Christmas decks are still up. This shot really uh, gives you the full view of the shop. We go all the way through to the, to the stairs where we came in, the room with the stairs in it. Lots of lovely things. So hopefully people who used to rent stuff out from Blockbuster will be getting a nostalgic kick out of this. Now I know which section of the shop the sick individuals who watch this channel are going to be most interested in. Yes, let's have a look at the horror and the sci-fi. You'll notice there aren't just DVDs actually on display here. There's um, a few Blu-rays as well, all mod cons. And as, as I said before, there's, there's a lot of modern stuff. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the selection. Look, you can see Possum there, Matthew Holness's horror movie, which I bought from HMV recently on my first visit there in, um, since lockdown began. Have a look at my Instagram for a little video of me walking into the shop. Anyway, yeah, that's a great selection. Us, I've got Us on DVD and haven't watched it yet. Is it any good? Without spoiling me, give me your thoughts on whether it's good or not in comments. And of course, I want all your comments on the shop. There's a kids section, yeah, for all the family. Fun for all the family at Stone's Video Library. And there's a TV box set section, which is quite extraordinary, isn't it? And on top of that, there aren't just DVDs and Blu-rays available here to rent. There's slush. Look at the slush. What is a video shop without slush? There's all kinds of other stuff here. There's lots of snacks and sweets, and that seems to be a kind of sideline that the shop does, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a, like a sweet shop with a side order of movies to rent. I don't know, but there's other stuff here as well. It's, um, it's been very cleverly diversified in its focus. 
Can a physical media renting place really compete with the whole streaming culture that we have now? I don't know. But here's the vaping section as well. Another string to Stone's Video Library's bow. Yeah, it's really impressive. The fact that this exists, the fact that this place exists. As I flick through the posters, let's muse about all of this because physical media, especially since lockdown and the pandemic and everything, I think places that deal in physical media are gonna feel all the more precious than they ever did. I certainly got quite a buzz when I went to HMV on that visit I just mentioned, but I also felt a kind of a, uh, I felt sadness as well because I kind of wondered whether physical media was just on its last legs, you know, whether the pandemic will put an end to it all. And who knows? We're going to have a look at the posters now, but while we have a look at these posters, which go back to the 80s, some of them are 90s, probably a couple of noughties ones, have a look around. But anyway, as we look at these posters, I'm very pleased to be able to tell you that this shop has reopened again post lockdown. Well, I say post lockdown, as far as I'm concerned, we're still in it. But nevertheless, places are opening up again. And I'm very glad that Stones is one of them, that it hasn't gone under. I mean, this place has been here. As I said at the start of this video, this place has been here since the 80s. I used to rent videos from this place and it's very nostalgic to me and I was genuinely shocked when I walked past and saw I thought the sign was just still there from years ago but the business wasn't but it's it's still it's still there and back we go back we go reluctantly back to reality a shame now after I went here I went on a pilgrimage to Witten video or at least what used to be Witten video yeah an another of my favorite video shops used to be here and now it's a Witten Baptist Church place. And I kind of wanted to reach through the window and pull out a copy of Invasion USA starring Chuck Norris on VHS. But then they called the police and I had to leave. No, no, they didn't really call the police. That's just a bit of fun. I would love for you to join me in comments to talk about this video. First of all, what do you think about a physical media renting library like Stones existing in 2020? And how likely do you think it is that the coronavirus pandemic may put, very sadly, the final nail in the coffin of physical media? I'd love to hear your views. Also, in the video description, you'll find a link to Stone's Video Library's Facebook page. So hopefully you might want to go over there, hit like and support them. In 20 seconds, I'm going to show you four more videos on this channel, VHS related videos that you might want to watch. But before then, look at some of the lovely people who support me on Patreon and help this channel grow. And in return, these people get extended versions of YouTube videos, early access to YouTube videos, and they even get videos that are just for them. If you'd like to consider joining this VIP club, then have a look downstairs in the video description for the link. And don't forget to embrace your obsessions.